My coworkers and I found improper electric work in every building we inspected. Jim Childs was an electrician hired by the Army. His job was to inspect electrical work at facilities for U.S. soldiers in Iraq. Childs spoke before the Senate Democrats Policy Committee meeting Wednesday. He says 90% of wiring in newly constructed buildings was done improperly. That means about 70,000 buildings weren't up to code. The contractor responsible was KBR. The last thing I remember was what the guys told me. I was, I was yelling and I was, I was out on the floor and I wasn't breathing. And Ron Vance is a former California Army National Guardsman. He was shocked while taking a shower at a U.S. base in Iraq. The scars from that day are still visible. Just to look at the, the water coming down from the showers, like, oh, this is going to get me. I know it's going to get me. Vance isn't alone. Others have been injured or killed in electricity-related incidents in Iraq, too, including at least three who were electrocuted while showering. But KBR says it's not responsible for what happened to Vance and the others. We believe that our electrical installations were safe. William Utt is the company's chairman and spoke with the AP Wednesday. We believe that, that the standards that we did employ you know, were standards that that were known and, and, and thought to be acceptable in an expeditionary environment. Utz said KBR is working with the U.S. military to improve the wiring now that Iraq is more stable. Meantime, military criminal investigators are looking into five electrical-related deaths in Iraq. Mike Gracia, The Associated Press.